We have new information tonight on the five year old shot while sitting in a car with her dad. Police giving an update on her condition as they continue the search for the gunman. CBS 2's Naveen Dollywall is live for us in the Williamsbridge section of the Bronx tonight. Naveen. Yeah, just today, the acting police commissioner promising the parents of this little girl that they're going to find the person responsible for that gunfire that sent that five year to the hospital. And they, he also says that police resources, resources have been moved to higher crime areas because of these shootings. A calm Friday evening turned chaotic here on East 214th Street near Holland Avenue when gunfire erupted during a vigil for a shooting victim who died a block away a day earlier. And we heard bam, 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 bam. Detectives say a bullet hit a five year old girl in the back as she sat in a car with her father. Today, on his second day on the job, the acting police commissioner, Edward Caban, visited that little girl at Montefiore Hospital. The kid was in very good spirits, very happy. Welcome news. He further says there were two shootings. The first on East 213th Street and Holland, killing 26 year old Justin Rodriguez and injuring another man early Thursday. Then, a day later and a block away, the girl was shot during a vigil for Rodriguez. What we know is a shooting at the, the vigil was related to a homicide the night before around the block. Now, as the summer season is in full swing, with the increase in gunfire this weekend, police are taking action. I can tell you I was on the phone to Commissioner last night. He allowed us to move some resources around to our summer deployment zones that we have created. And I can tell you from 11 o'clock last night till through right now, we took no shootings, no violence on the midnight shift on the summer and July 2nd. Now, police are still trying to determine a motive for the two shootings and who the intended targets were. We're live in the Williams Bridge section of the Bronx, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS 2 News. All right, Naveen, thank you.